Ear. Yo, it's your boy, uh, Who's Mange in the building. You already know I'm playing this Madden 20. This is the EA Access. I was on PS4, as you can see from the uh, buttons on the screen here. But uh, I'm going to talk about my takeaways from it because my 10 hours are up. Um, I will say there's a few things I dislike right now. Um, one of the big things being the fumbles seem kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's crazy. Um, you you get big headed. You fumbling. It feels like no matter what, you're fumbling. I was watching streams of you know problem and dub, and uh, them dudes were fumbling like three times a game. I was fumbling a lot too. I was like maybe it's just me, but uh, everybody. I mean, it seems like everybody's fumbling a lot. I'm not really liking the this this can you know the control like how they have the button mapped out man for i mean the defensive adjustments are so much slower this year it's just i don't know i'm sure we'll get used to it but it just seems real weird how they have it set up man um and then the hurry up i'm not really liking the hurry up at all it's just too it's just i don't know it, they need to have something to where you can at least see the players run up to the line of scrimmage or something maybe not take that long but kind of start out where they're all kind of in that general area i don't know because it's way too quick it's way 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 too quick way too quick but that's really the big things that i dislike right now um as far as the the game that the part of the game that i do like i like the running way better it's not so clunky it's a lot more smooth when you have players that aren't agile, they don't feel agile. When you have players that are, they feel very agile. One cut still in the game. It's just, you know, you have to be doing some craziness to be, you know, juke and super hard with the one cut. Um, the passing trajectory seems a lot better. I can, you know, place balls in pause. I can place balls in, you know, the the zone a little bit better where, you know, I'm not getting lurked by linebackers or 50 yards off to play. Um also, with that being said, the passing trajectory makes it to where you have to anticipate throws now, kind of like how it is in real life, where if you can't anticipate a throw, you're going to throw it late, and it's most likely you're going to get swatted or picked off. I have an example of that at the end of this. And then, um, you know, it just it makes it to where you have to definitely understand your pre-snap reads. If you don't, you're going to make, make mistakes. You're going to get sacked a lot. Uh, it's not about the deep the deep ball unless you have an extremely good offensive line um also i like the playbooks this year offensively at least because there's definitely i'm gonna be running i'm gonna try to run more of a option type scheme uh when i play because it's just i don't know it seems fun to play with the teams with the mobile quarterbacks and whatnot with the play calling i mean each each playbook is way different um and one thing I did notice, too, is not 100% about speed. As you see right there, D-Hop, man, is crazy. His separation he gets off when he, you know, breaks on his routes are crazy. These guys that are good at, you know, running routes are going to get open. And the people who are good at man coverage or zone, you're going to be able to tell, like, I feel like a lot of people are complaining about zones, don't realize that the cornerbacks that they have are not that good. And the guys that play really well are good. And there's not many, you know, really is this. That was the example I was talking about. Aren't really good. But I just meant it, wanted to make this real short video. Uh, if you want to see some more Madden, subscribe and share and like and comment and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm out. Thank you for watching. Peace.